is sad, <laughs> I think, as well. Um, so today I wanted to reflect on, oh, how things have changed. Um, today I was supposed to be flying to Peru with my brother, my sister-in-law, and my niece, originally also with my, my parents, um, for 10 days of wonder and amazement and exploring and connecting and learning, loving, laughing. Um, because of my, my determination and my focus and my loyalty to Jada Studios, I haven't done much traveling in the past, um, but I love to travel. I love to travel and I miss it so much. And this trip was like something that I was itching for so badly um, and it felt amazing. You know those trips where you're like, oh, I really should be doing something else or, you know, that doesn't, I'm gonna do it, it's gonna be amazing, but I don't know what it's gonna be like. I just knew in my heart that this was gonna like just fill me with so much joy and, and happiness. Um, my roommate was gonna be my, my 10 year old niece and we were just gonna have this glorious, magnificent trip. I don't get to see my brother's family very often because they live out east and I'm in the Midwest. And this trip meant everything to me and I'm not going. Um, I am definitely uh, physical distancing as much as possible here in Minnesota. And the day about a month ago that we canceled the trip, my heart just broke and it just felt like something inside of me broke. Um, the hope is, is that we'll go in a year or two, um, but I don't know. And Machu Picchu, um, we were doing Cusco, we were on the coast, we were doing so many amazing things. My brother had booked this unbelievably rad trip. And here I am sitting here talking to you guys, which is also great, but uh, not nearly as magnificent or sparkly as my trip to Peru is going to be. So I guess today as we reflect on where we're at, um, give yourself a hug. We're all giving things up that we had worked so hard for, that we were so excited for. Um, and I am beyond the disappointment and the sadness and um, just kind of feeling like my time had come to buckle back up and, and start traveling again, that that got taken from me. I'm so grateful um, and so blessed by my health and my family. Uh, my friends, my community, my job, um, the, the worldly compassion that I'm seeing right now. So beyond that kind of darkness of not getting to go on this once in a lifetime trip, hopefully it'll be a twice in a lifetime trip, um, I still feel so much gratitude and love and passion and compassion and empathy and um, thankfulness for who I am, where I'm at, who I um, interact with, who I'm blessed to be around, and all of that. So I guess I just wanted to share a little bit of um, one of the things that I was really looking forward to that um, COVID has taken from me. I would love to hear about things that have not been able to come to fruition because of your um, following the rules and and uh, social distancing or physical distancing. So we're also celebrating um, the 18 year old birthday of Sydney um, tonight. She turns 18 on Saturday and it's not quite the senior year or the 18th birthday that you want, but we're gonna do our best to make it a great one. And um, yeah, we're just, you know, if, if anything else and you get kind of down, then just feel that gratitude and that thankfulness and uh, reach out. I'm sending you a, a virtual hug and uh, we truly are in this together and uh, giving up things so that we can have more and be more connected and more focused and more compassionate uh, today and every day moving forward. So, um, oh, I wish I was saying hello from Peru. I really do. Um, but maybe in a year or two, I will uh, do a Facebook Live from Peru. So, 
have a wonderful day. You are all in my hearts and I hope to see you soon. Thank you.